Okay, so for this problem, we need to use the Ronskian to show that the given functions are linear in, linear, linearly independent on the interval i. Uh, f1 is sine of x, f2 is cosine of x, f3 is x, uh, and the interval is just minus infinity to infinity. Um, so we don't really need to worry about that. Um, so if we remember the Ronskian, that is uh, the matrix where the first row is just these functions, the second row is the first derivative, and the third row is the second derivative. Uh, what's that? That looks like you have f1, f2, f3, then f1 prime, f2 prime, f3 prime, f1 double prime, f2 double prime, f3 double prime. All right, so let's fill this in with these values. We have sine of x, cosine of x, and x. The derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. And let's just take the next one. The derivative of cosine of x is minus sine of x. Derivative of cosine of x, again, is minus sine of x. And the derivative of that, um, that is minus cosine of x. All right, derivative of x is 1, and derivative of that is 0, all with respect to x. Um, so how we use the Ronskin to determine if these functions are linearly independent, we just need to take the derivative of this, um, and if it is not equal to 0 uh, for at least one value, um, that tells us that they are linearly independent. Um, if the, the determinant is equal to 0, that doesn't tell us anything. We're just looking for um, if we get a value that's not 0 for at least one value of x, um, then we know that they're linearly independent. So let's take the determinant of this. Um, I, can, I want to perform a cofactor expansion, but I can simplify this first. I'm going to add the first and the third rows because I notice that this is sine of x, that's minus sine of x, cosine and minus cosine. So I can see I can get rid of two terms. So I'm going to add the first row to the third row. Zero, minus cosine, cosine, that makes zero. Zero plus x is x. So perform a cofactor expansion on the third row. Um, that's zero times that determinant. Zero times this determinant plus x. I said times before, I meant plus. Plus x times this determinant. Uh, here we have sine. cosine, cosine, and minus sine. Um, so the determinant of that is going to be sine times minus sine is minus sine squared, minus cosine times cosine is cosine squared. And oh look, I have a, um, a trig identity here. Factor out a negative 1, that's sine squared plus cosine squared, and that's equal to 1. So that's just x times negative 1, or negative x. So because I can see that my determinant uh, is not equal to 0, that proves that these three functions are indeed linearly independent. Um, so that's all that we need to show for that.